what, 13 grandchildren, one great-grandchild. So your old geezer has done some good. <laughs> Halfway across Kansas to the west of Brian and Cindy lives Frank Polifka, a retired farmer. What is it about Kansas? Maybe it's the lingering influence of the Wizard of Oz. You can watch the clouds and then you'll, you'll see some of them that are starting to move in a circular motion and you could see it, you know, take a building and it kind of lift it and all of a sudden it it'll just kind of fly apart. So I, I thought if you could contain something like that, you should be able to have quite a destructive power in there. And ever since he was a kid, he's dreamed of harnessing the power of a tornado. It's an invention that'll grind just about anything. And now he's invented a device that does. All out back in a Quonset hut on the farm he shares with Ruth, his wife of 47 years. It works. And it has no moving parts, and uh, it's pretty ingenious. When you look in through the exhaust part, you can see it swirling around in there, and I thought it's the same as a dust devil. So I called it a Vintex. In German, is a dust devil. Yeah, Sprech Deutsch. <laughs> the Windex is a squat, six-foot-tall metal contraption comprised of a large funnel supported by four legs. Four jets set around the rim of the funnel blow compressed air into it. As the air whips around the inside of the funnel, it forms into a high-speed vortex. Think of it as a tornado in a can. It blows it in just almost like a potato gun. Uh, we heat the air 650 to 700 degrees. Well, this is what the engineers have told me. They says if, if I'd have tried to do something like that, I'd have quit because it's impossible to do. And uh, I guess I wasn't dumb enough to quit. <laughs> Frank drove me down to the Quonset hut behind his house, where he keeps his prototype wind hexes. He comes prepared to demonstrate the wind hex with some aluminum cans and a wine bottle. I don't drink much wine. <laughs> you drank half down. of that wine, darling. <laughs> I had to drink it so we could use it today. <laughs> Well, we'll start him up and see what he does. Probably won't do nothing. Frank throws the cans in the machine. A few moments later, they emerge as fine, shiny dust. Yeah, it's shiny, that's aluminum. We put, uh, you know, whole chickens in. It came out uh, a greasy powder. I thought I might be able to sell it to the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> There's a company in Missouri that's using the wind hex for poultry processing, and waste disposal and mining firms have shown interest. And Frank's always looking for ways to improve his invention. There's still some stuff that can be learned from a tornado that can be used in the machine, in the wind hex. I, I'm still fascinated by him. If there'd be one in the sky today, I'd have to be watching it. I think that amateur inventors definitely keep a bit of a spark of childhood in, in that they're still asking questions, wondering how the world works, how they can make it better. Rachel Zimmerman's talking about inspiration. For Frank, it came from a tornado. 